What would happen if you tried speedrunning a Minecraft world that's already been played on for 60,000 days? You see, a standard Minecraft speedrun takes place on a world that no one's ever seen before, let alone played on. But what would happen if you tried beating the Ender Dragon on a world that's already been played on but for hundreds of hours by some of the most impressive players in the game? Howdy folks, my name is Speaker Poor, and today I'm speedrunning Hermitcraft. Well, specifically their Season 9 world download. <laughs> because this is a little bit of an odd speedrun, we're going to have some odd rules. Rule 1. Every run has to start in a brand new copy of the world download. Your time starts when you switch from spectators to survival and land on the ground. You have to beat the inner dragon. Going through the end portal is not enough because the hermits have already opened the end portal. And of course, let's try not to break the hermits build, alright? So those are the rules if you want to try this as well, and let's get into it. Okay, I'm in a new copy of the Hermitcraft world. It spawned me in spectator, so I'm simply going to lower myself to the ground and and my time will start when I switch over to survival mode. All right, we're in, and the first thing I'm gonna do is come to Cub Fan's inner chest and take everything out of it, including some arrows and a chest, put on my armor, then steal his exploration box, and there's another one. Oh God, where is it? I'm taking so much time. And utilities. Because in here, I'm going to get some Eyes of Ender and some Enchanted Golden Apples. Okay, now we need to jet over here to Vintage Beef's, I believe, cave. Steal his Gas Tears and some of his Blaze Rods. And just a touch of his wood. Oh my god, okay. There we go. Okay, with that, we need a little bit of glass. So we're going to head over here to Gemini Tay's starter base go upstairs and i believe there is a totem of undying in there and a stack of glass there so we're simply going to craft up a bunch of eyes of ender and a bunch of end crystals and now we are i can't break the build now we have to go back down the ladder <laughs> okay let's get the totem in our offhand and then fly over to exuma's starter base and we're at just about two minutes to get into the nether. I was a little slower than I'd like to be, but it's working out great. Because now we need to go through the nether hub. And I believe that right over here is the end portal. Oh my god, I walked out. That's not great. Okay, let me get some of these carrots in my hot bar. Eat, a, eat an enchanted golden apple. And jump in the end portal. Because we need to respawn the dragon, seeing as the hermits have already beaten the dragon. Alright, the dragon should be respawning. Yeah, there we go. Now we just have to wait for him to get up here. I don't think these are destructible until after the dragon, you know, spawns. But hey, now is a good time to say uh, subscribe if you enjoy my content. It means a lot. Okay, and... There's the dragon, so let's take out these end crystals, which I can miss nearly all of. But we'll get in the groove of it. It has been actually a hot minute since I played Minecraft. <laughs> okay, now we just need to get the cages, and I think if I do this right, I can shoot straight down into them. I missed. Okay, we'll do it from the ground level. All right, the trick from these is to shoot into the gap. If I can make it. Come on. This is kind of embarrassing. There we go. Where is the other? Ooh, the dragon's down. Okay, this isn't going to help me till I get this last cage. So let's just... Do that. Alright. Now we try to hit the dragon. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, that is a mistake. I am out of arrows, and Cub Fan's bow does not have infinity. Which means I'm left just trying to hit this guy. 
Can I even hit him in the air? I'd be willing to bet the answer is no. Nope. Oh, actually I did. All right, dog fight for the ages. Ow, he actually hurts a lot. That's kind of rude. Okay, maybe I'm better off just waiting down here. <laughs> Come on, buddy, you should land. Can I maybe try to try to in crystal uh, bed hit him? Oh. oh, that worked a little bit. Okay, I don't have any more in crystals though, so we're just gonna have to whack him. Oh my god, he is so loud. And he kicked me into the air. I was really hoping for a sub five minute, but it's looking like that, well, I mean, very clearly that didn't happen. So we need to wait for him to perch again. She coming down? She is. Okay, let's get in here. Come on. Ooh, we were so close. Let's see if we can do this. I'm gonna try to get her in the air. It wasn't the quickest, but this will be my, probably my most epic dragon kill. <laughs> if I can kill her in the air with a sword. Come on. She's so close. Oh, and she triggered my totem. I really want to get her in the air now. Okay, didn't happen. Which means that was a disappointing run all the way through. We just have to wait to get through the portal with a time of almost exactly 10 minutes, which is interesting. <laughs> but I think we can do better than that. But first, let's actually just take a look at how cool the Hermitcraft server is. I mean, like, even their starter area is pretty gorgeous. Like, I mean, look at that. Not to mention all their bases. B-Dub's base is incredible. As is, of course, Scarland, Green and Mumbo, Hango's decked out and Ice Citadel. And Doc's perimeter is literally mind-blowing. I mean, it won't even render, render in all the way, and I have like 18 render distance on. The Nether Hub itself, and of course the Soup Group's impressive mismatch of bases. God, Pearlescent Moon's landscape looks so cool. <laughs> and I do love a good Dwarven Keep. Of course, Gemini's Tay's Elven Castle is nothing to scoff at. <laughs> Still, uh, we're not supposed to be admiring their bases. We're supposed to be speedrunning their server, so let's try another one. All right, let's go with a new copy of their world, lower ourselves to the ground, start the timer, and switch ourselves into survival and immediately screw up again. So let's get Cub Fan stuff. Okay, uh, exploration box, and also... Take less time, take less time, take less time. Utilities, too. Okay, um, on, on, on. Shoot down, shoot down. Place and place. And we need his Eyes of Ender and his Enchanted Golden Apples. And I have a different plan this time, so let's still hit up Vintage Beef. Grab his Gas Tears as well as a little bit of wood. But instead of... Oh, actually, we do still need to go to Gems. But first, we need to grab some wool. So let's do that, and then hit up Jim's base for some glass. Go up, go up, go up, go up, go up, and get the Totem of Undying, get the glass, and then craft up, of course, those two, those two, and literally as many beds as I can carry. And back down to the ground. Any obsidian? No, there was no obsidian. We'll make it work, because we're hopping in through Exuma's nether portal, breaking this one, Okay, three obsidian, that'll have to do. Hitting up the, where are you, where are you, where are you? There you are. Eating the golden apple. Jumping into the end. Oh my God, I missed. Flying up and of course, activating the dragon. Oh my God, that's actually the wrong spot. Um, um, I'm sorry. I have, I have messed up, don't break. It broke. Do I have a crafting table? I do have a crafting table. Okay, it's all fine. It's all fine. We had more items. That does put us a little bit behind time, though. Okay, don't misclick this time, speaker. Come on, you're a professional. You've done this before, literally, like five minutes ago. <laughs> I should use this time to make my... All right, now let's take out the end crystal. Gotta miss a few, of course. 
Is this gonna hurt? Oh, it so much did. It so very much did. Was that all of them, though? Oh my god, he's perking. Okay, that absolutely didn't work. I panicked, but it's fine. We just have to do better than 10 minutes. Okay, we actually have a few arrows left, so let's just try shooting this gal a little bit till she lands. She landing? No, I fell again. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, we popped our totem, but we're not doing horrible. I also have seven arrows left. Will it be enough? Okay, literally no arrows left. We're gonna have to do it by hand this time. This is the epic finish I didn't get last time. Come on, come on. There we go, we got her. We got her. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, okay, come on, come on, come on. Don't choke this. You know what, I'm fine with the fire. Will it, what'll it be? Seven minutes and 10 seconds. Not too shabby. Folks, if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out this one right here. If you want to help support the channel, leave a comment letting uh, me know if there's any fun challenges you would like me to speedrun next. Uh, if you really enjoyed the video, like it and consider subscribing. And if you really, really enjoy my content, consider becoming a channel member. It helps out the channel a lot and I really, really appreciate you. But for now, I'm sure you'll enjoy this video right here. And folks, I will catch you on the flip side. All right? God, Hermitcraft is beautiful but not as beautiful as me, fucker.